Hey friends, today we're going to talk about goal setting in 2013. So let's get started. I'm going to give you three tips about how you can crush it when it comes to making your goals happen. Hey, it's Jennifer and thanks for joining me today. We are going to talk about goal setting in 2013 and I am going to give you three tips for how to make your goals happen happen in 2013. So let's dive in and get started right away. The first tip I'm going to give you is to remember that it is still 2012. Now, what does that have to do with goal setting and reaching and meeting your goals in 2013, you may be wondering? Let me tell you, because this is really important. This first step is crucial to you just really rocking it in 2013. Most people right now, December of 2012, are doing nothing. They are coasting into the end of the year with great plans for what's gonna happen in 2013. Let me give you an example. I belong to a gym. I love to work out. It is my therapy. In fact, I belong to two gyms. One of the classes that I go to, there are generally 20 to 30 people in the class. Sometimes you walk in five minutes before the class starts, you can't even get a spot. The last two weeks, that class has had eight people in it. And that's what I'm seeing when I go to the gym every day. People are coasting into 2013. They're gonna eat everything they wanna eat and then they're gonna start again strong in 2013. So, by you not coasting, by you really kicking it, ramping it up a notch here in December of 2012, it's gonna give you two advantages. One, you're gonna be doing great stuff when nobody else is. So it's gonna be a great opportunity for you to be noticed, be seen, make things happen. Two, it is going to give you momentum. I mean, let's think about it. You, let's go back to our example of fitness. If you go through December, you eat anything you want, you don't work out, you just party and celebrate the whole month of December. You wake up January 1, 2013, you go to the gym, you start eating healthy. Are you going to have lost the weight or the inches or the fat that you are looking to lose in one day? No, you're not. You're starting from ground zero and it's gonna take you months to get to where you wanna be because you're starting from zero. But if you will really continue to go strong these last couple of weeks of December 2012, your momentum will carry you into 2013. You will already have a head start on everybody else and you will already be going strong. So I want you to, as your first step of making it happen in 2013, I want you to make it happen these last two weeks of 2012. You'll be glad you did. Second tip I wanna give you is don't make New Year's resolutions. Don't do it. I know everybody does it. I know it's the, uh, you've probably been doing it for years, it's all the rage, but just give it up. The problem with making New Year's resolutions is people try to change their lives overnight. They wake up on January 1 and say, I've got this list of 10 things I'm gonna do differently starting today. And it's overwhelming. There's no way you can do it. You can't uh, start one day and make your life completely different that same day. So what happens is they have all these things that they wanna do and then by like January 2nd or 3rd, there's so many changes they wanted to make. It's so overwhelming that they've completely given up. So just resist the urge to see January 1 as a point where suddenly I've made all these resolutions and I'm gonna change. Instead, what I want you to do is plan for the whole entire year. Don't plan what you're gonna change on January 1. Plan what you're gonna do from January 1, 2013 to December 31st, 2013. Plan your entire year out. And don't think this is gonna happen in the course of 15, 30 minutes, even a couple of hours. Planning your year takes time, as you might imagine, if you're really seriously gonna plan it. Uh, I, what I would love to do, and what I used to do, is just take a day to myself. Um, go to a hotel if you have to, and spend the whole entire day planning your year. 
that's become a little impossible for me being a single mom with three kids who need me 24 seven. But ideally, if you can schedule an entire day to plan your year, that will benefit you throughout the entire year. But whatever time you can take, realize this is not a small step or a small process. Lay out everything you wanna do in your business and your life for the entire year. Now, tip number three I'm gonna give you is once you have that plan, break it down. Break it down into very doable steps. Now you won't be able to do this before 2013 starts. This is something that you'll do on a monthly, weekly, daily basis. Because again, what's gonna happen? Let's just take an example, because I've had a lot of people talk to lately who have said like, I really wanna add video marketing into my business, but you know, I'm pretty overwhelmed by making a video, putting it up on YouTube. So that is something that just kinda stays on their to-do list. I gotta get started on YouTube. And why does it just stay there? Because there are so many steps in the process. You gotta figure out how you're gonna even make the recording, figure out how you're gonna get the video uploaded. You know, there's just, uh, I won't go through it, but there's 10 or 15 steps of things that you kinda have to figure out, um, get over, get through, and learn to do. Now, ultimately, it's not hard, but when you look at it, it becomes a little overwhelming. So what you want to do with these goals, let's say I like to break things down into quarters. Let's say in this first quarter, one of my goals is to take my marketing onto YouTube, start marketing my business through using YouTube. And I'm going to start to do that in January. Then break it down. Week one, I'm going to pick out a camera I'm going to use and I'm going to practice in front of that camera to get over my fear of being on camera. You know, break it down into each, the smallest little steps that you can to make it doable. So you don't have sitting on your to-do list, uh, get started with YouTube. The item that is sitting on your to-do list is research cameras, or sit down in front of my camera and make 20, crazy videos until I'm comfortable with looking at myself on camera. One little step that you can do that day or that week will keep you from feeling overwhelmed and keep those goals from just sitting on your to-do list month after month after month and never getting them done. And you should do this with everything that you have planned in your business and your life. Sit down and after you've made your big one-year plan, chunk it out you know before january starts get january figured out and then before week one starts get week one figured out and before day one starts get day one figured out and if you'll break it down into the smallest pieces possible and keep your eyes only on that piece for what needs to be done that day i promise that you will meet more of your goals than you ever even right now can imagine meeting they won't just sit there and still be sitting there December 31st. All right, so I hope these tips have been helpful to you. Put them into practice. Rock it out these last two weeks. Sit down, take, his, take hours, hours to plan out 2013. And then as the year rolls around, break it down into the smallest little steps you could possibly get it down into so that you can make each step happen each day and when we talk again on December 20 December 31st 2013 you'll be telling me yes checked every one of those goals and more off of my list because you'll be surprised you'll be amazed at what you can accomplish if you do it this way thanks for watching We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.